Hey everyone, welcome back to Inside the Bottle TV. I'm your host, Sam Patel, and today we got a unique episode. We're doing a blind tasting. And this one is uh, the show that is followed after our Ginza Town episode, which we did sushi and different wine. Jessica and I did that, and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed Jessica's presence, which was uh, pretty cool. Somebody new on the show. And all I know about these three bottles of wine, which are under paper bags, which were picked out by a lovely lady that comes into our shop and uh, she decided she wanted to do Cabernet under $15 and so we had her pick out three, which I don't know what they are. That's the best part of this show. Um, and before Kyle was telling me, hashtag ask inside the bottle TV on Instagram and on Twitter. Uh, if you guys can leave some comments below the episode and we will put the prices on the show as well. Those will be listed somewhere right here, right under my face. Um, so you guys can go out and check out the wines if you like them. Also keep in mind that this is the opinion of one palate, my palate. And so, you know, I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully we don't piss off anybody by doing this or uh, any suppliers. But nonetheless, let's check it out. Let's get into bottle number one. All right. Let's see. Nice dark red hue. Uh, good color. <sighs> A lot of strong cedar notes in this one. Toffee, different toffee note. Ripe red fruit. Let's check this out. Mm. Wow, that's really, that's huge tannins on that. Real round body, real rich, dark fruit that comes through. Um, ooh, get a little earthiness in there, some spices, some baking spices, strong tobacco notes. This is nice. It's a really nice. Mmm. Well, that's number one. I'm gonna make my note. On to our second bottle. And let's rinse this one out. Kelly, have a napkin? You can throw me a napkin? Yeah. Hard to pour out of the brown bags, get it all over you. So, into our second bottle. Straight red bell pepper on the nose. This one has a little softer body to it. Um, nice strong tannins on the sides. A little heavier mid palate. Um, I don't know about this one. It's still lingering a little bit. Get some cranberry hint to it. It's not as bold as I would expect a Cabernet to be. All right, well, make a note for this one as well. Quick fact too, by the way, Cabernet Sauvignon is the cross between Sauvignon Blanc and Cabernet Franc, which was uh, part of Bordeaux uh, in the 1600s. And so they came up with uh, Cabernet Sauvignon. Did you know that, Kyle? No. <laughs> All right, rinse this one. And get into glass number three. Making a mess with these bottles in the bag, but that's all right. Ooh, 
Now that's nice. This is jammy, jammy blackberries I get out of it. Again, some cedar and I don't know if that's like black currant. I think this is more my style for a Cabernet. I like this. Even a little dark chocolate, some rich dark chocolate. Ugh. I don't know. It's got that like puckery taste to it. It's like really gritty. Yeah. Well, make a note of this one as well. Get some jalapeno on that one. I don't know if I'm a big fan of that, like jalapeno that comes onto your palate in cab. Many of you maybe. I don't know. Put my notes on this. Let's rate this one. And now for what we've all been waiting for, and hopefully this uh, this unveiling gives me some skill on what I'm tasting, but uh, let's check it out. We'll go to number three, what I rated number three first. Ironside Cabernet. This one is uh, California 2014. Uh, I do like this wine. It just wasn't my number one choice. Anyways, move on to the next. Choice number two. Chateau Saint Michel, Cabernet Sauvignon, Columbia Valley. I believe this is the vintage 2013. This one I liked a little more. Um, I got a lot of, you know, uh, jammy flavors out of this one. It was uh, unique. I'm gonna go back into this again. Nice cedar and toffee that comes out. It's nice, right on the palate, real fruit forward. It's beautiful wine. This is uh, showing some nice tobacco notes. Uh, like pipe tobacco. It's not, it's, it's a beautiful wine. Uh, this one, I can't even tell you how much it is. I'm, if I had to take a guess, I would say uh, somewhere between the 12, 11 99 $12.99 range. Beautiful wine for that price. Uh, my personal rating on this would be maybe like a 88. Uh, for the iron side, let's go back to that real quick. I would say maybe like an 85. Uh, still a great one. And uh, on to the next. My number one choice. <laughs> that should be something crazy, right? Wow. Francis Coppola. Uh, the Diamond Collection. I guess I did have a little bit of skill here, you know? Francis Coppola is a, is a pure G in the game. And so, uh, you know, 2013 ivory, ivory label Cabernet Sauvignon. Um, this is uh, one of a kind, it's a beautiful wine, and so this one is vinted and bottled by Francis Ford Coppola Wineries in uh, Geyserville in Oakville, California. Alcohol is about 13.5%. Um, I want to get back into this one really quick. My number one choice. Whew. This is what a cab should be for my palate. Um, again, jammy fruits, really fruit forward. On the, on the nose, I'm getting uh, a lot of different things. Some earthiness, almost like wet gravel. Baking spices, not like totally overwhelming oak. It's like a real nice, fine, refreshing oak nose to it, if that makes any sense. Maybe a little bit of eucalyptus. Earthiness. Mm. I 
It's spicy, it has a perfect balance to it. Beautiful wine. Francis Coppola wines, you know, there, there's their diamond collection, they have multi, multi vertical collections that they have. Um, this one is probably around like 12, 13 bucks. I think we have it on sale this month um, at our shop, but I think originally the price probably four or five bucks more, maybe 15, 16 dollars a bottle. Great wine. Uh, I'm glad I picked Francis Coppola. You know, this is uh, probably turned out to be a pretty good show. <laughs> Take a sip of that one. Anyways, guys, thanks for staying tuned to our blind tasting that was picked out by my staff and, uh, you know, also a very generous lady that came and spent a few hours, uh, or actually a few minutes of her time, sorry, not a few hours, um, picking out the wine. And I will definitely have to call her and thank her for doing this. S stay tuned to our episodes coming forward. Hashtag Ask Inside the Bottle TV on Instagram and on Twitter. Twitter too, right, Kyle? Yeah. yeah. Right. So uh, hashtag that and ask any questions that you guys would like, or even if you guys want us to do a particular episode, or even if you want to have the chance to pick out some wine for me to do, you can call the store if you're not um, in Maine or around Portland. and you know, stay active with us, that'd be awesome. Leave some comments below if you get a chance. Positive, negative, whatever floats your boat, it's all good. And, uh, you know, stay tuned for our next episode. Thanks, guys.